Persistent Organic Pollutants POP, regulations apply to most products sold in various countries worldwide. What are the persistent organic pollutants? Typically, POP chemicals are halogenated organic compounds that massively originate from industrial activities and manufactured goods, such as electrical and electronic equipment as well as other types of products. POP substances exhibit high lipid solubility because of their brominated or chlorinated molecular structures. Thus, POPs migrate into the body's lipids and the environment hardly destroys them. The main concern with the POP chemicals is that they may cause health and environmental issues by impacting the immune, neural, and endocrine systems of humans and animals, and possibly contributing to hormonal disorders, cancer, mutations, birth defects. What does it mean to be POP compliant? Since the Stockholm Convention of 2004, many jurisdictions and markets around the world have regulated several POP substances. As a result, various countries prohibit or restrict certain POP substances, such as Canada with SOAR 2012-285 prohibition of certain toxic substances regulations, and the European Union with the Regulation 2019-1021 on persistent organic pollutants, recast, replacing the Regulation 852-004, Europe rose, reach SVHC, and amendments. Examples of heavily restricted POP substances include polybromodiphenyl ethers, PBDE, polybrominated biphenyls, PBB, polychlorinated biphenyls, PCB, Myrex, alkanes C10C13 chloro, pentadecafluoroactanoic acid, PFOA, and its salts and related substances. Under the European Regulation 2019-1021, Article 3. Any pop substances listed in Annex I are prohibited on their own, in mixtures or in articles. However, some exemptions possibly apply, according to Article 4 of that same pop regulation, under certain conditions. For example, it is the case of some of the rose PBDE substances, like tetrabromodiphenyl ether, pentabromodiphenyl ether, hexabromodiphenyl ether, heptabromodiphenyl ether, bis, pentabromophenyl, ether, and decabromodiphenyl ether, decabda, PFOS, hexabromocyclododecane and SCCPs. Why should care about persistent organic pollutants in products? Selling products containing POP chemicals above the national permitted limits is prohibited and can jeopardize the image of your company. For example, the European Commission maintains the Safety Gate Rapex website exposing products and companies failing to comply with POP, but also ROSE. REACH SVHC, and other regulations. Non-compliant products are usually withdrawn from the EU market, and product recalls are common. Persistent Organic Pollutants The EnviroPass Testing Approach As with Europe Rose, EnviroPass recommends the documentary approach with suppliers and subcontractors for POP testing against legal obligations like the European Regulation 2019-1021 on Persistent Organic Pollutants. By using classic POP, you allow EnviroPass to tackle the documentary assessment of your products, including up-to-date data collection with your suppliers, subcontractors, quality validation of documents and risk analysis, preparation of analysis results and certificates of compliance. In addition to the classic POP services, Deluxe POP gives you the tools to take control over POP compliance. It includes products assessment regarding the POP requirements and delivery of a certificate of compliance. Training in products auditing allows you to conduct future analysis and update your declarations of conformity, doc, yourself. 